Hello, my name is Lorraine Garvey of District 32, and I'm very excited to be speaking today with Kirsty Thompson of Astute Bookkeeping and Advisory. How are you going, Kirsty? I'm well, thanks, Lorraine. Thanks for having me. We've just been having a chat about the nice long break we've had, um, and we're ready to um, kick some goals in 2023. Absolutely. Can't wait. So Kirsty, you are in regional WA and you've got a bookkeeping advisory company. Tell us where you are, what you do and how did you get started um, doing what you're doing? Yes, so I am in Malama country, which is Karatha in the Pilbara. Um, and I've been here for well over 20 years now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's very much our home. It's a beautiful spot. I recommend anyone come for a visit. Um, so I have been in the finance sort of realm for about 15 years now, um, working in very many different industries, um, various sizes, you know, small entities to large multinationals. We're very fortunate up in the Kubara. Um, we have a vast array of industries. And um, I suppose, you know, through that, I was fortunate enough um, to help some people through some of their really hard times financially um, and even managed to, you know, help claw back hundreds of thousands of dollars for people um, that they didn't even know was missing. And I suppose what wow. I realised from those situations was that, was that I have a real passion for this industry. Um, and that kind of led me down the garden path into starting a street bookkeeping and, um, yeah, I kind of have gone from there. That's, that's fantastic. And you, you just br bringed over that there, you know, you've clawed back hundreds of thousands for business owners. That's a big deal, right? And that's, you get such a buzz yeah, um, from being is, able to assist people buzz. like that. Yeah, yeah, it is. And, you know, it's very rewarding for myself, obviously, as much as it is for the client as well. Um, yeah. And like I said, it, it is, I, it, I am quite passionate about it. One of my, um, I suppose passionate niches as part of bookkeeping is investigative bookkeeping. So that's really delving into a to a client's file and ascertaining, you know, what's going on, um, how we can kind of remedy any situation and making sure it's all the best practice bookkeeping and tax law. And since talking to you as well, so I had a chat with you before Christmas and we were diving into, you know, what makes you different and what you really enjoy. And you've taken all that experience that you've learned from businesses over the years and you now offer an advisory service on around the bookkeeping, which allows people to interpret the, the figures and, and use that for strategic direction. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, you know, realising through the various experiences um, that I've had with all those different entities. One of the key reasons I feel for failure relating to business owners is ultimately a lack of strategy execution. Um, you know, and that ultimately comes down to that when you're setting out, um, everything moves so quickly and it's very easy to get stuck on the hamster wheel and deviate from potentially the initial plans that you had in your startup phase or, or so on. Um, so, I suppose I recognised that um, and I really wanted to, to hone in on that core area relating to um, business planning and forecasting and, and all those kinds of fun things that will help set up a business for longevity. I think it's just so important, you know, to have that someone looking and we can't see from inside the tin. We do get caught up in the operations and the busyness and it's so um, refreshing to have somebody else look at your books and I find it refreshing anyway, to have somebody else to look at your books and to ask you questions about what does this mean and what is it telling you and how are you going to use this to grow in the future? So I think that's on the back of what you said, it's the most important thing um, for business mm -hmm. owners. But look, um, Kirsty, you've got three tips um, for people today in business and that'll be around you know your you know your competitive advantage and your differentiation there well what are your tips for um what are your tips for business owners this year in 2023 so my my first thing would be business planning so that kind of obviously is back to back with essentially what I was just discussing earlier um and essentially that comprises um a thought analysis so strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, um, also looking at your market, 
uh, a really good business plan, it's really important to have this to identify a strategic direction and goals. Um, and ultimately, um, you really need to have implementation and consistent yeah. accountability. Um, and, and this is for not only yourself, potentially as a business owner, but for everyone that that filters down through to within your business as well. Um, so I think that's really key, business planning, business plan. must have a business plan. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, so cash flow forecasting is something that I also think is um, imperative in business. Um, and really, this just gives you a clearer picture overall about your business um, and how the money is, is moving into and out of it. And ultimately provides um, more insight into your company's financial health. So um, an example of this is if we think of potentially a retail industry. Um, so they might have specific trends around increases in turnover around peak sales periods, which might be, you know, Christmas, Valentine's, Easter, those periods of time yeah. where we all go out and flash a little bit of cash, essentially. So their income is potentially going to go up. Um, another one we could look at accommodation industry. So they have peak periods, off periods. So there's potential trends there for when their, their income is going to reduce. So these are examples of ways that we can forecast cash flow um, to ensure your financial health and when is good time to spend money and potentially a really good time to hold back on spending money in the future. Cash flow forecast, run my world through a cash flow forecast. So thank you very much for that. Again, important reminder, you need the planning, you need the direction, and then you need to make sure that you get the cash just to see you there um, and understand yeah, your right. numbers. And what was your last, um, your third tip today, Kirsty? So market analysis. And it's really important as a business that you understand um, your place in the market, who your competitors are, where your product or your service sits, um, whether that product or service is relative to the region you're trying to, to provide it in, um, you know, whether you would be looking on off, onshore, offshore, um, these things are just really important to analyse your specific situation um, and relative to your, like I said, your products, your services, where you're located. And it's just going to give you a little bit more insight into things that you may need to adjust moving forward. Mm. And it's always good to have a look around to see what others are doing as well, you know, in the market and where, where are the opportunities to play? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's important to know um, who else is out there, what else other people are doing. It's only going to help you in, in the long run, actually. Don't yeah. be afraid to look out there and see what everyone else is doing. So thanks for that, Kirsty. Now, just before we go, I want to ask you, who do you, you know, I know you're up in the, the regional WA, but you've got clients all over. Um, yeah. Who do you like to work with? Who, who's, you know, who's your ideal uh, client or customer? Uh, well, we work, we're very, like I said earlier, we're very fortunate up, um, up here. We have a varying degree of industry. So we have, have worked with and do work with people in, uh, very varying sectors um, but I do have a real passion for real estate industry as well mm. um, just something that I am quite interested in at the moment yeah, okay. um, yeah. and you've got a few clients in the real estate um, industry yeah. and does that include strata property management or all of the above yeah all of the above yeah beautiful well, that certainly helps us to keep an eye out for um, introductions uh, to you. And Kirsty, look, thank you very much. Um, thank you for being part of District 32. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for this um, interview. You're really helping us. And we always need the reminders, you know, to get the plan done. I like to think of the plan as the 3D pen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, let's get it out and do it with a 3D pen, you know, and let's build something and create something. So thank you very much. It's a real timely reminder um, for this interview and for our magazine um, as well in February. So Kirsty, thank you very much and we will speak to you very soon. Thanks for having me, Lorraine. Thank you.